In OneNote 2010, you can now apply styles to your text. You'll save a lot of time by using the same shortcut keys found in Microsoft Word 2010 for basic styling of text. These new styles are added to OneNote to give you more formatting options to structure and organize your thoughts. So let's explore them now. If you've got the exercise files and you want to follow along with me, I've gone to the 0606 subfolder of the Chapter 6 folder and opened up this notebook. And with the Meeting Notes tab selected, you'll notice on our first page here we've got some minutes. Let's go inside that text area and we'll click and drag over the word minutes. Now we can add a style which will apply a group of formatting commands, saving us a lot of time and allowing us to get a little more organized. From the Home tab, you'll notice you now have a Styles group. We can click the drop-down button to select from pre-formatted styles. For example, we want to apply the Heading 2 style to this. One click and it's done. So we've got a different font, a different size, a different color, all thanks to that style. Let's try it again with the text down below the word minutes. We'll click and drag across all of the text. And we'll apply a style by going to the Styles drop-down. And let's add Citation. We'll select Citation. It's applied to our highlighted or selected text. We'll just click outside the box to see the end result. So we save a lot of time by using some of the styles that are built in here. We also have the shortcut keys available to us to apply heading styles and normal styles. For example, Control, Alt, and 1, 2, or 3 to apply those headings. And if you want to apply the normal style, you just go in and select your text. Let's try it again. We'll set this back to normal. This time hold down Control Shift and hit the letter N on your keyboard and you'll notice you've got that same shortcut that's available to you in Microsoft Word.